Can you tell us something about the relationship uh, between uh, Zhworkin and, and David Sarnoff? And did Sarnoff visit your laboratories often? Yes, he visited us quite often. Uh, and uh, he was the one that, that uh, uh, inspired uh, the whole organization to uh, to uh, go deeply into into television. Well, he personally selected Jworkin, did he not? Well, I really don't know about that, but uh, uh, the RCA laboratories were generated by uh, joint effort of uh, GE, Westinghouse, and, uh, and I believe AT&T was involved in it at that time, and uh, uh, Sarnoff was in, in some responsible position in 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 this uh, whole group someplace and before. Uh, uh, well, did he not bring Zwerkin from was it Westinghouse to RCA to develop he, this? He, yes, I think he was probably instrumental in bringing him uh, personally into it. But there was a quite a group of of engineers from. Westinghouse and General Electric that came to uh, to RCA and formed the uh, uh, the RCA engineering department. Mm -hmm. And that was formed in he formed that in Camden. Yes. Did he come down there very often? George, uh, Sarnoff. Uh, Sarnoff. Yes. Yes, he came quite quite often. So he took a he took a personal interest in the development of television. Then. Yes, he uh, of, of course he wasn't following all of the details of our our work, but uh, uh, so uh, our report on our work was uh, filtered through his work and to mm -hmm. to him to a great extent. Although he made lots of visits to the laboratories and we mm -hmm. demonstrated lots of things to him.